Hi everyone, it's Athena. Welcome back to my channel. It's Thursday and it's February 13th. Oh my God, Valentine's Day is tomorrow. That just dawned on me. That just hit me. <laughs> okay, February 13th, 2020. I've often thought, as probably a lot of you have as well, about how the school systems teach education for children, you know? And I've always thought for many years how what should be taught in school is life lessons and how much better off children would be in addition to, you know, math, English, etc., right? History. And even a sense of having us learn how to let go, right? Learning to let go would be a good, how do you teach that? Well, you teach it by giving something. I mean, it's kind of the same, it's implied in the same way as we say, give me your phone to a child who hasn't listened, you know, you're grounded, whatever. But maybe not as extreme as that, you know? Learning to let, and then actually at, a, at some point, you can't even take the phones away from these children, from kids, right? So life should be touched and experienced, is my point. And not strangled to the point where you're holding on for dear life, right? I mean, come on. This life is about freedom. As it should be. Let's put it that way. All right. So learn to let go should be learned before learning to get, right? Ruminate on that for a minute. <laughs> All right. Friday. Oh, I said Friday. Sorry. Thursday, the 13th of February. Let's see what the collective message is for today. Okay, so we're working on a project or two or three, right? We're working on something to create, to manifest, and working hard on it. So you have like three projects or it could be you're working on one and you have a couple in the, in the back burner, so to speak, right? So one thing at a time, focusing on one thing at a time, right? And charging ahead to do it, right? So go for it. Go for that project that you're working on and work on it until you complete it, right? I think is the message. When you're working on something, focus on that. Be in the moment of that project, right? Put everything you have into this project, right? So that this project can go move forward, which it, it is, right? Whatever idea you're working on is going to move forward and prosper, okay? So go for it. But experience it to the point where it's like it, it becomes completely yours. Do you know what I'm saying? Wholeheartedly wholeheartedly, there, there's the hearts, wholeheartedly work on this project in order to see it to the next, to the, to its completion and fulfillment, right? Go for it, right? Wholeheartedly go for it and work on it, right? With intensity, intention, Okay, all right. <clears throat> Working on a project to its, to its full completion, completion, right? That's what it is. You've wanted to work on this project to its completion wholeheartedly and you will. You're gonna get there, so don't give up. That's what this is about. Don't give up like in the 11th hour, Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. 
maybe this is you. But it's also about knowing that this vision that you see, you see this vision, it's right in the middle of the reading, okay? Here's the project that you're not supposed to give up on. These projects you need to keep working on and don't give up. That's what that says. That's the external. The internal message, right? Internally, work on it wholeheartedly and keep it moving. Keep going. Don't stop now. All right? You're going to get there. You're going to get there. You just can't stop now. And the Queen of Swords understands that. That hard work pays off. That being independently working on something, you have to really put your all in it. You can't give up. Okay? So don't give up. Let me put the queen over here so you can see. Well, there's still a glare. I'm getting a new tripod. Actually, this is this is this one I have is not a it's a little table. It's a crappy one, actually. <laughs> All right. So, don't give up in the 11th hour. I may be literally talking to a Gemini Libra Aquarius for sure. Let's look at the bottom of the deck. You have a lot of work to do. <laughs> Seriously. Look at all this work you have. This is this is going to keep you very busy. But focus on one project at a time to see it to completion. There's a 10. That's the completion. So don't give up and go jumping into something else. Okay? Keep focused. Stay focused on what you need to achieve because you know this is what you you have a tendency to do. If I'm talking to you, it means that there are times when things get hard and then you jump to something else thinking, okay, well, I'll go back to it, right? But the personal power that is given here, the drive, this is the drive. This is the drive that you need to complete a project. You need that like courage and strength to go for it and don't stop until you've completed it. You have to work on it, like I said, wholeheartedly. You have a lot of work to do here and you know it, <laughs> there it is. There's the sword that the queen of swords is holding. So, okay, so if something's not working, then maybe there's something here that needs to get cut out. Maybe a process that you're doing is needs to get cut out. Or maybe you need to just not, you just, you just know that the truth here for success is to not give up. That's what this is. Because that's going to give you what? Self-esteem. So you're working on getting something really good happening here. You have a lot of projects going on. You just need to work diligently and focused. Keep your eye on the prize until it's completely com done. Until the work is done. And then you work to the then you go to the next project. And Gemini Libra Aquarians sometimes have that thing. <laughs> right? What is that thing? It's called focus. I'm not saying all air signs are, you know, not focused. No. But depending on what is in your moon and rising sign could lend itself to say, sometimes you take a step back and say, I'll get to it another day. And then another day comes. It's, it is a procrastination of some sort. Okay. I'm, not, I'm just say, telling you like it is. So don't procrastinate. Work on one project with great fervor until you complete it. The, you have the ability to be, to go for this. And you have at least three that out of the seven, three out of the seven, your heart and soul is in this. And you know what you need to do. You know what you need to do. You do. It's called sacrifice. 
Exactly. You have to sacrifice in order to get, right? And this is exactly what I was talking about. In order to learn how to receive, you need to let go of whatever it is. Like, you know, that's why this, this sword is here. Let go of what's not working and keep what is working. That's what's called sacrifice, right? And there's the blessings of the rainbow. So the blessings are right here for success, for sure. You just have to, what do you have to do? Sacrifice your time, your energy. That's what this is saying right here. So sacrifice it because it's going to be hugely successful, whatever it is that you're working on. Right? We're out of this, this, you know, um, jealous mode, envy, you know, anything that's, anything that was envious, maybe, maybe you're sacrificing yourself, your own success, because you're worried people are going to say, oh, look at her or look at him. So what? Now you don't care. Do you know what I mean? Just do the work and learn how to just absorb the moments that you're working on these. Work with great intention on these projects. And that's the sacrifice. You have to sacrifice your time and your effort. I mean, that's, that's life, right? But you have to see it. Sorry, that didn't feel right. You have to see it to, to its, you have to take that leap of faith. The leap of faith, the changes that you need to make is to get focused. And I'm telling you right now, you have to get focused with great intention on what you're working. Because right now, you're obsessively thinking, you're not focused, you're confused. Right? And confusion does not breed success. Confusion gets you on your knees. If you please, you can pray for sure, pray. But at the end of the day, the truth here, the whole truth is to stop procrastinating and sacrifice your time. Maybe less time, this, this is less time, less time on social media, right? And more time sacrificing your, your hard earned work, labor. Labor, you know how much labor costs, right? When we, when we hire someone to do work in our house, you know how expensive that is, right? Labor, now your solar plexus is blocked. Why? Because you have anxiety and confusion. Anxiety and confusion. And these two cards make a one. Seven and three is 10. So the universe is saying, You've got this new, you've got this new understanding, the awareness. It's not even new. You know you need to do this. You know you need to sacrifice. You need to sacrifice. Every, everything comes with a sacrifice. Why? Because it makes you feel good. It does. It's not, it doesn't feel good when you have to work your, you know, work your butt off, right? That doesn't feel good when it's happening. But what feels good is the, the fact that you did do the work, you have sacrificed, you have intended to complete these projects. These are the projects that you need to complete. And you need to go full steam ahead, full steam ahead. And you're gonna get there. Don't stop now, see? more blessings because when you sacrifice when you make sacrifices the universe gifts us with what well with the 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 part that is the best part of being gifted is the the creativity the enthusiasm of seeing the finished product right that is like crazy good it also brings in some financial stability to the home once completed. Once you see your, your manifestation, you did this. 
right? You did this. And then you get, you're proud. You're, you're so proud and it makes you stronger. It makes you stronger. And this is the truth. You could have a mother and or father figure, figure helping you get focused. Or you could be the mother and or father figure. But the emperor and the empress, the truth of this situation is that hard work pays off. Look, come on. Be strong, get your act together, and do what you need to do to find to find the happiness in life is to sacrifice. Nothing, right? What is the saying? Nothing worth having is doesn't come with a price. And I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about your time and your effort and your hard work, sweat. You know what I mean? You just got to do it. Everybody has to, has to do it. It's the lesson in life. The lesson in life is work hard and receive. So let go of what's not working. Let go of what's not working and focus on what is working. Step by step. Yeah? Okay. Don't hold on to stuff like a project that just you just don't have your heart and soul in it. If this, if whatever these projects are, whatever you're working on, if you don't have your heart and soul in it, it's not going to work. Expect miracles. The Holy Spirit says... Remember that only love is real. Love for whatever you do in life. Love comes from the heart. These projects, this work that has to get done has to come from your heart center. Miracles will occur naturally. Spirit has your back. These cards are absolutely beautiful. So, a little sacrifice goes a long way. Have a great day.